If I asked you to guess the second best team in Formula 1 of all time, who would you say? You'd probably say Mercedes or Red Bull. But it's actually the team who finished last this year. So hello and welcome to Fervent Motorsports. Today we're going to check out the 2022 Williams season. The Williams team finished the 2022 season last in the Constructors' table. It's been one of their worst seasons in recent years, but then again, this team is usually on the back foot. Out of 22 races this season, they managed to score points in only 5. This year, Formula 1 had larger tyres and a whole new aerodynamic philosophy. So while most of the team struggled, Williams in particular struggled more. Their car was overweight by the most compared to the other teams. And their car also struggled in slow speed corners. In a bit to save way, the team did something cool and they stripped the paint off their car. Now this helped them gain some time, but the team didn't really tell us how much time. The head of vehicle performance, Dave Robson said, I don't think I can give you figures, but it's quite a lot. So the Williams cars were fat, the cars were slow around corners and they finished the season last. They probably suck, right? Well, yes, but they were also the fastest car in a straight line. The Williams cars that were slow around corners were absolute rocket ships on the straights. Take for example the qualifying session of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix that just took place. The Williams car of Alex Albon was almost 5 km per hour faster than Verstappen, 10 km per hour faster than Leclerc in a Ferrari and 20 km per hour faster than Stroll in an Aston Martin. But neither of the Williams cars managed to score points in that race. So now we come to Nicholas Latifi. The Canadian driver was recognised as one of the sweetest personalities in Formula 1. However, his driving has not always been the best thing. He's had his share of crashes, but he's also had his share of points. This season, he struggled and managed to score points on only one occasion in Japan. He's been let go by Williams after three long years in the team. Now, Latifi was a rookie when he joined, so the spins and the mistakes were sort of expected. But Williams are choosing to replace him with another rookie in the form of Logan Sargent. He spent a year in Formula 2 where he didn't win, but he's going to be replacing Nicholas Latifi. And Alex Albon will be continuing with the team after they were impressed by his performances this year. And now we get on to comparisons. In the last 10 years, this is what the Williams performance looks like. The highest ever finish in this period was in 2014 and 2015 where they finished third in the championship. They finished above Red Bull in one season and above Ferrari in the other season. Mercedes managed to build a very reliable power unit. And the team along with the driver pairing of Valtteri Bottas and Felipe Massa managed to squeeze out all the performance from the car. If you look at the graph, you can see that they were regularly finishing in the bottom since 2018. But this graph really paints the real picture. It shows you how far the team have fallen in just 10 years. When they were fighting for third in the championship, they managed to score 300 plus points. And in 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2022, they managed to score only single digit points in the whole year. But in spite of them being absolutely trash in the last few seasons, they are still the second best team ever in Formula 1. They have 9 constructors titles and 7 drivers titles only behind Ferrari. The Williams team have always been known for their innovation in the world of Formula 1. The Williams family ran the team right from its inception in 1997. It's currently 2022 and that means 45 years have passed since this team was founded. And although the team is not really winning, they are still running, which is not something a lot of Formula 1 teams can say. However, in 2022, the pandemic caused financial problems for everyone. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. The Williams family that was running the team, they had to sell off their shares to a US investment company. The team has since undergone a lot of changes right from management to structure. With the cost cap in place, we should see the Williams team challenging those around them in the near future. But will they get back to winning ways next year? I really don't think so. But anyways, thank you for watching this video by us here at Fervent Motorsports. In case you do like it, remember to subscribe and as always, stay tuned as we get you the best of motorsport news.